One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, have you ever had baby back ribs at the restaurant and wondered how they could cook them so tender? I'm going to show you an easy, foolproof, step-by-step way to cook baby back ribs in the oven that come out tender every time. Uh, the ingredients you're going to need, I got all this stuff at Dominic's. I got Sweet Baby Ray's Original Barbecue Sauce. It's uh, $4.29 a bottle. I got Tony Sachery's Creole Seasoning. It's uh, $3.29 a can. Um, the foil I get is a heavy-duty non-stick. It, it, it's better for when you cook the ribs in the oven. The foil won't stick to the rim. These are $3.99 a roll. And of course, the pork baby back ribs. It's $3.99 a pound. Each rack averages about $10 to $15. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is wash your hands and rinse the ribs off. Now is also a good time to get the oven preheated to 275 degrees. I went ahead and did that already since I don't have enough time in the video to get it done. Once you got your hands washed, take a knife and cut open the rib package. Just rinse them off with the water, get any excess liquids off of there. You can dry them with a towel. I always just drip dry them for a little while. It's quicker and easier. Once you got them rinsed off, you can cut them in half. Just makes it easier to put them on the pan you'll be using and to wrap them in foil. So I just find something right in the middle, cut it right in half. Right between the bones. Got a lot of bones there. Alright, so once you got it cut in half, you need to get the tin foil. You need a sheet about twice the length of each half a rack of ribs. Go ahead and season them up with the Tony Sachery's. Tony Sachery comes with a perforated lid, so it's really easy to apply the seasoning. It's about a half a teaspoon per half a rack. Get a nice even spread on there. Once they're seasoned with the Tony's, you wrap them in the foil. Just pull the foil together, get a nice tight seal. You can see all the moisture in when it's cooking, so it keeps them tender. Do the same thing with the other half rack. Again, use the Tony Sachery's. Tony's gives it a little more of a spicy flavor, so you can season it to taste. I always use about the same amount, half a teaspoon per half a rack. Same thing, wrap them up nice and tight. I already got the oven preheated to 275. I always throw them on the middle oven rack. You want to cook them for two hours and 15 minutes at 275 degrees. I already have a prepared sample of what the ribs will be like when they come out of the oven. According to the United States Food and Drug Administration, if you want to test the internal temperature of the rib, make sure it's 145 degrees after the ribs have sat for three minutes. So you pull them out of the foil. You just want to stick your thermometer in there. Make sure you have a nice temperature, 145 degrees. And we're good with this one. All right, at this point, you're just going to baste them in barbecue sauce. Some people prefer to use a baster. But I like to use a spoon or a fork. It's easier to clean up afterwards. I got them all over in the kitchen. Get a nice spread across there. It's about a half a cup of barbecue sauce for half a rack. Flip them over, same thing on the other side. The barbecue sauce, this, this will give it a little sweet flavor. So you get a nice spicy sweet combined with the Tony Sachery's. Once you got a nice spread, you're going to cut them up and get them ready to serve. I like to use a serrated knife, it cuts the meat easier. If you try to cut the rib too soon, they're so tender they'll try to fall off the bone. So let them cool a little bit. I like to stick a fork in there, find in between the bone and just slowly cut across. If you try to force it, the rib will just fall apart. you just end up with a old fork sandwich or something. I don't like it on time. Good. So that's it. Once you get them cut up, you're ready to serve. And that's my foolproof, easy way to make 
pork maybe back ribs at home in the oven. We get a restaurant quality tender rib every time. So you guys got any questions? Why do you put it at 275 instead of a little higher? You can, you can cook it a little higher and they'll cook faster, but the lower and slower you go, the more tender the rib will be. I have cooked them a little faster and a little slower. If, I cook, if you cook them any slower, they come out and they'll just fall apart. You can't even cut them. So you can try a little faster and if you got time constraints, you know, you need to hurry up and get them finished. Any questions, guys? I need two more. Tony Sashers. It's a southern seasoning out of Louisiana. It's a Creole seasoning Cajun. And they just use uh, you know, pepper. It's like a pepper, salt, salt and pepper type seasoning. A little cayenne in there. Are you putting the ribs back on the, uh, the pit? You can do it that way. This is just, I, I showed you a way just to cook them in the oven. But mm -hmm. if you want to get like a nice smoky flavor, you can also cook them on the pit when you pull them out. Cover them with barbecue sauce. Throw them on the pit for a few minutes just to get the barbecue sauce to glaze and get the charcoal flavor absorbed into the meat. What, what, one more question. If, if you're going to put them on the pit, do you still leave them in the oven for the same amount of time? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, same amount of time in the oven. And I mean, once they come out of the oven, they're already cooked. Yeah. Just if you put them on the pit, it's just to get the barbecue flavor. Right. All right. Charcoal flavor. So that's it. Let's do the count off again. One, two, three. Four, five, six. How much time was it?